Alrighty everybody, welcome back. Today, it's an exciting one. We're finally putting the roof on our tiny house on wheels. All right, Hunter, which one should we choose? Which one do you like? So welcome back to another episode of, I'm probably gonna kill myself with the power drill I probably shouldn't be using. Hi, we're Stephen and Jess, and this is Baby Hunter. Our dream this year as a family was to buy a van, turn it into our home, and hit the road to see everything Australia has to offer. So we did exactly that. We followed this passion, bought a van, and began working on it right away. After popping in some windows, getting a baby seat, installing our floor, insulating the walls, and attempting our hand at building some furniture. Oh, that one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yep, did we mention we have no clue what we were doing? Just last week, we finally installed our walls, with the next job, figuring out how to do our roof and install our furniture. It's not even 10, I think it's just past 10 and Annie's got, what, the world's hottest corn chips. It says we're not doing this roof until I try one. <laughs> it literally says, do not consume. That like instantly starts to burn. <laughs> this corn chip is infused with the hottest peppers and you just casually eat these. Where's that water you were saying? <laughs> Scorpion ghost. <gasps> and Carolina Reaper peppers. Whew. Took me about 40 minutes to get over that one. <laughs> Especially because it's like 10 in the morning. So what are we doing today? Crying. <laughs> 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 blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. So this week's episode is super exciting because we're going to be placing the roof onto the top of our van. We placed our order last week and it just came in besides a Friday afternoon when I'm wrapping up the video and seeing just what we accomplished in a week. I think my second favorite thing is when we get a delivery. We have our beautiful order of MDF which we're going to be placing onto the roof. So if you guys know anything about the style that we like, we love the beach vibe. It just reminds us of home so much whenever we're traveling around the world. The beach reminds us of Australia. So what we wanted to do is go for like this wooden slap look on the roof. And we've ultimately decided to go for MDF and we're hoping to paint it white so it looks really nice inside the van. Oh, it <laughs> looks like it's light, but it's actually quite heavy. So we're gonna put about four pieces onto the roof and that's what we're going to be working on for the next few days. She gave me a flip of the house. She me a cool flip of the house. So before Andy brutally murdered me this morning, <laughs> he was showing how we're actually gonna join it. So a couple of ways to get it onto the roof. First one is to join the pieces. We actually have all these wood chips he was just explaining to me and he's made some grooves within the MDF. Of course, there's gonna be wood chips all the way through. They kind of look like biscuits. That's gonna join in, so it's gonna join all the pieces and then we're gonna use that beautiful MS5 train window glue to stick it to the top and we're ultimately gonna screw it to the chassis of the van as well. I realized during the excitement of when the roof on, I totally forgot to kind of give you more details on how we got the roof onto the top of the van, because I know so many of you guys enjoy watching these to learn some more experiences. First of all, we made these little wooden metal wedges that we stuck the roof to, because we needed a little bit of a gap from the actual roof of the van so we could shove insulation in there, because we want insulation throughout the entire van. So once we kind of stuck that on there so that we could actually screw the MDF into these little metal wedges to really keep it nice and secure but it literally took us like an entire day just to do half the van yeah. 
Alfred just arrived. Alrighty, half the roof is up. We've glued it on. We've drilled out the holes just here, as you can see, to have our lights come through. So then we can pop in some down lights just up here. But this is it. Half the roof is on. All right, so this is gonna have to be done in two kind of sections, but we now need to insulate the roof. So now that half of it's on, we're gonna try and slip in as much as possible and we get a wooden block to try to squeeze as much in as possible. And then we need to work out a way to get insulation into the other side because we can't pull this down. which is the best hole to actually fit the down lights we have six of these that are going into the roof and before we put them into the into the van we need to make sure we have the holes drilled out so welcome back to another episode of i'm probably going to kill myself with the power drill i probably shouldn't be using <laughs> i have to go up the side might be easier for you you see it for me <laughs> yeah. oh wow that like rips that So these are all the different holes we've made up and even though there might be a few mils off we've decided that this size here is the perfect one so as you can see when we have the down lights in there and then if we ever need to change it which we probably won't need to we can pull it out I'm on my way home I wanna laugh I wanna cry But gonna love you Till I die Oh, oh, oh baby I'm on my way home It is currently 34 But it feels like above 40 Not only in the shed But when you're inside the van I am sweating Oh, oh baby I'm on my way home well, ever since you went away, these weary blues been hanging round every day. We got half the roof on. You know what your kiss does to me, it makes me wanna hide mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a Final oh, piece is coming in now. Baby. <laughs> Jess is going to be so. <laughs> Jess is going to be so happy when she comes and sees us tomorrow. The roof is completely done. It only took us a couple of days to do it. It looks good. So then we just need to grout out all the different like holes and screws we've done and then smooth it over, sand it down, and then we're going to go and paint it. But how good does this look? We got all our holes with our electricals coming through. That's nice. We decided to go long ways just to give the illusion that the van is bigger. So when you walk in, it feels like there's a bit more space because of course it's a kind of a tiny house, but awesome. Andy did such an amazing job on this. We just wanted to say a massive thank you to NoCube for partnering up with us on this video to help make Jess's Valentine's Day extra special. So with Valentine's Day coming up next week, I thought I'd make Jess a special NoCube and I'm going to give you guys a little sneak preview. I filled it with some of my favorite photographs of us together as well as some thoughtful notes for her to find and it all comes packaged in this beautiful wooden box. So whether you have someone special in your life for this upcoming Valentine's Day or you want to make your family and friends day to get them a present for a special occasion you should definitely go and check out NoCube. It is so easy to make whether you have a laptop or a mobile phone. Type your name in, the name of the receiver and with a wide range of personality traits you can have your NoCube done in minutes. And once you've purchased your NoCube, I decided to go for the wooden box upgrade. You can edit your notes and even upload photographs that are special memories to share. So make sure you keep the secret present between me and you. And if you're interested in getting one yourself, I managed to organize 20% off for your printed NoCube. Just make sure you use the discount code 20 fly in the nest, but I've linked it all in the description below. Now let's head back to the van build. Yo, 
your favorite place again. <laughs> All right, Hunter. Which one should we choose? Which one do you like? That one. All okay. right. That's the one we're going for. Alrighty, so we need to put this one in the trolley. Are you up with that or? Okay, <laughs> I might give you a hand on this one. Is that okay? <laughs> you chuck that in the trolley for us? Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Beep, 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 beep. You know what this is bringing back memories of? What? When we were painting our cubby house, and remember, I was full blown pregnant, like 38 weeks. And remember, I was wearing this exact same shirt. Oh, wow. I just had like a big pregnant belly and I was taping up the cubby. That's what it feels like, except I guess we're kind of taping up a cubby. A giant cubby house on wheels. I feel the wind again. My puzzled face. Five speed bicycle. Round. Cobblestone pathway, memory lay, high tide rolling. And I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, and that's just fine. Okay, my arms are officially jello, so um, Stephen's taken over. <laughs> Painting. I actually want to show you guys something that Stephen and Andy have been working on. They have been building our cabinets for up here. So I think we're going to go around here. So we're going to have three big cabinets above here. And then we're also building two more that are going to go above this cupboard. And I'm thinking this is where we're going to be storing our clothes. But while the boys work on that, I'm going to get to painting this ceiling. We went for a white paint and we decided to go for a matte finish and we're asking the people down at Bunnings and they recommended to use this paint because they said it is super easy to wipe off things and we're thinking if Hunter when she's older sleeping in a bunk bed I can imagine her putting her feet on the roof it's going to get dirty so this can mean we can easily clean the roof off and uh, yeah have a nice white roof it's white paint <laughs> and luckily it's not primer because if you all watched us renovating our house we accidentally used primer to paint our walls Sinking in a sound of sorrow, heavy as a hurricane. Wondering if we'll find tomorrow, if anything will look the same. Doesn't anybody read the paper? Has the whole world gone blind? We're all dancing with danger. Alrighty, well, Jess is probably doing the hardest job so far today, Sandy down that roof. Andy has been an absolute machine pretty much just smashing through our furniture. So we have like our kitchenette, we have our bench just here, and it's not just going to Ikea to build the furniture, he's literally building the furniture. So if you saw in the last episode, we kind of um, put the frames together, and now it's just finishing it off. So we're using the same material that we use on the wall, so it matches nicely. Put it on there, putting some trims. The see you saying is pretty much done until we go in to screw it into the actual kind of bolt it into the van and then we'll kind of like finish it off together in terms of the bed we're actually going to build the bed inside the van because it's too big to build outside at least we could do these ones here um i can definitely tell what you've been up to <sighs> is a faint paint all over my face a little bit i could feel it like trickling on but i think i have to call it a day but i've kind of done half well half of one coat so it's gonna take a while, but it definitely looks better. Like, can you tell the difference? I can tell the difference. It looks so good. <laughs> what do you reckon, Hunter? Oh, she's pretty mesmerized by it. What do you think? Okay, it is officially the last day that we are working on the van this week, and I cannot wait to show you the progress. We have officially installed the framework for the kitchenette, bench, and cabinets. All right, are you ready to see how different it looks in here? So all these pieces are now permanently fixed and I really feel like you can start to see what our little house is going to look like. 
So yeah, as you can see, the skeletons are fully in. We have our storage units up here because we want as much space to put plates. Also, we're going to use this for clothes up here. So this is where our bed's going to be and a lot of storage as well. I think we need to get quite a few big pieces of electrical in here and then that space is going to get smaller and smaller. So enjoy the play space while it's so big. I think this is the best the van has looked so far during the van vault because we can just really see how it all looks. So we're now currently working on the end pieces for these. So we're going to go like this. We've decided to actually round off the edges so no one is going to bump their heads on any sharp corners. And who else noticed? We finished off painting the roof. The progress from the beginning of this van build video to now is crazy. I did not expect to get this much done. And at the beginning of this video, Hunter couldn't crawl. And she is so close. Come on, girl, you can do it. Imagine if she takes her first crawling steps in the van. That'd be That's awesome. what I'm kind of hoping, and she's trying yeah. so hard. It's like one of those things where you want them to crawl, but then when they do crawl, she's going to be running all over the place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this van build. <laughs> this episode was so much fun to do. We'll be back with another one. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.